Nora was diagnosed July 5th of this year with large B-cell lymphoma. She had gone about three months of just limping. We couldn't figure out what was wrong with her. What was the scariest was we finally got a referral to the rheumatologist and she did an amazing detailed um, evaluation and found a spot on her spine. We were extremely scared because we had literally just gone through the very similar diagnosis with my husband six months earlier. Harrison was born in October of 2019 and he got diagnosed with NF1, which is neurofibromatosis 1, which can cause um, like little nodule tumors all over his body. In August of 21, he was diagnosed with, a t with an optic nerve glioma, which we found by a giant eye bulge on his left eye. And within the next week, he, by Friday, we were told Monday, by Friday he was getting a port put in, and then by Wednesday he was in chemo because it had grew so rapidly. Receiving a pediatric cancer diagnosis is devastating news for any family. We understand the enormous challenges that these families face, and that's why we have dedicated our efforts to providing support that goes beyond traditional methods by gifting Children's Cancer Connection families surprise packages throughout the year. Every year we put our heads together and think like kids again. Many hands make light work as we compile hundreds of boxes to be delivered directly to 776 Children's Cancer Connection family homes across the entire state of Iowa. What's also unique is how this program meets these families where they're at in their homes and safe spaces, in over 435 Iowa communities across all 99 Iowa counties. Our efforts are to increase family togetherness and create memories for our families for the Children's Cancer Connection. And so we thought a family game night in a box would be a fun idea and reach the whole family rather than just one or two children. Boxes consisted of eight to 10 family games that they could play together for all ages in the family, adults and small kids alike. I drew from my past with my own children and the things that we like to do as a family and games that are simple enough for kids to do with their parents without a lot of background and expertise. I wanted to also mix in a lot of movement type things because it's cold outside. So we did a game like hot potato and the floor is lava. So we ate quick and then we went into the living room, turned the tree on and opened the big box. And they were just like, <laughs> they didn't have a clue. They were pulling everything out and um, that was a lot of fun. And then it was actually great timing for us because Nora had literally just finished chemo right before Christmas or right before the holidays. And I think it was just nice to give us a good distraction. It's a wonderful surprise and it's so much it's such a relief off of me having to figure out what to do and how to entertain these guys for the next week while they're out of school or. This particular charity and partnership that we have does my heart good. I love kids. Um, it's sad that they have to go through this toughness in their lives and their families have to face that. And I, I think the Deb and Jeff Hansen Foundation does an awesome job of trying to make those difficult times better and building in those memory-making opportunities and giving families just a chance to bond and be together and love their time. Being able to see them open up that box and just get so excited and, and ready to play with everything and even just playing with the box itself is just beyond a blessing and it just melts your heart as a parent.